In this video clip, estimating the present value of a bond using C++ Visual Studio 2015, I've, put in, I've embedded a link that should open into OneDrive where it's possible to access some code for estimating the present value of a bond. And I'll just show how to set that up in Xcode. So I have already gone File, New Project. Here on the Xcode, this is the Xcode DE. Um, I'm going to select here OSX and Command Line Tool. Next, it's a new project. The of the different uh, programming languages, C++. And then um, present value bond loop. Yes, there's a loop contained in this uh, bond. So I'm going to put in two um, just my desktop and create. So uh, we now need to uh, set out, just paste in the code I had copied. So I'll paste in. And okay, I'll, I'll edit just a little bit. Okay, so I've just slightly re edited the, uh, the code here in terms of um, just making it more compact. Um idea here is we get the present value of a bond, we have the face, coupon rate, um, the discount rate, the periodicity of the coupon payment, and the number of years that the coupon, that the bond will uh, last. So number years until maturity. Um, we initiate the bond value equal to zero. We declare an integer uh, that is the total number of coupons, so the time period by the frequency of the coupon. We estimate the coupon as being the coupon rate divided by the frequency of the coupon payment multiplied by the face. We set up a loop in order to discount the um, coupon, so we say the value of the bond initially zero. Then we discount coupons. We do that uh, for um, i number of periods. i runs from 1 to the total number of coupon payments. Uh, each coupon is estimated using this. And we discount it using this power function. So 1 plus the rate of interest divided by the uh, frequency of the coupon payment and to the power of ti being i being i divided by m and then we get the present value of the coupons that goes into a bucket then that bucket comes down here and we discount the face value of the or yeah the face value of the bond it's the principal whatever that is given and again we're discounting a one-off payment here as opposed to a stream so let's just run this and see what result we get i know the answer because it's a power bond so the value of the bond should be equal to the face given the coupon rate and the discount rate are the same let's run that check the results it might take a second so i'll pause okay and the result has come back as being 100 also because this code was taken from originally developed for uh, Visual Studio, I had that system pause command. I'll take that out. Not no need here. Um, I'll also verify the results. Um, now previously I had done the same type of estimation using these parameters, so I'll reintroduce these again, and I know the answer here is a thousand. And 1091, so as we see here, 
Now instead of using an annuity, I'm going to use the loop. So um, let's change this to a thousand. The uh, coupon rate I'm going to put down as six percent. The interest rate discount rate is zero five six or so five point six percent. Coupon has been made twice a year. It's a three year period. I should get a thousand and ten ninety one. So let's just run this and see what comes back. Okay, and I get a thousand and ten ninety one. So just using these figures here, I can verify that the result obtained here, which I know to be correct, is being replicated here using the C++ code. So I verified the result. Now I can um, also remove, I can streamline this code a little bit. I can remove this and I can take away T by TI uh, by M because both were kind of cancelling each other out. Rerun this code again to see what result I get. Okay, change the interest rate to 6% and verify I have a power bond. If it comes back, if the discount rate and the coupon rate are the same, I should get the recover for the present value of the bond, the face. So I should get a thousand. Okay, so this seems to be working. Okay. Okay, so that's the, um, the bond as re-estimated using these parameter uh, values and uh, it seems to be working.